All right, guys, this is a quick video. It's going to be about one or two minutes, not going to be too long. It's just going to answer that question of how do you draw support and resistance lines? So basically, this is a graph on thinkorswim. The resistance line is going to be the top parts of the graph where you know, Stark has a lot of problems trying to break through. The support is going to be the bottom parts. Uh, and that's going to be where the stock has a lot of support, where people are buying uh, and keeping the stock from going down below that that value. So we're going to go over here on Thinkorswim. Uh, there's this little icon right here. You know, whatever icon it is, it's just right next to these magnifying glasses. You're going to click here. You look for this little tool. It's called the trend line tool. And basically what you do is you'll just draw a line here and just connect you know, all the bottom parts together. And if you look at that trend line, it's gonna say on the right side, it's gonna be right around 38. So that means there's, there's a support on Cisco stock at about $38. I'm gonna draw a resistance line right about here. This is about where the resistance would be. And that's gonna be about $40.25 is what it says. Uh, so basically, when you're drawing your support and resistance lines, you want to make sure that you have as many points uh, touching on the line as possible. And that's going to give you more of a signal that that is the defined resistance or that is the defined support line. So, hope this video helps.